Good Thursday, everyone. Jazz Roganza here. Another episode of What's Next. We're going to take a step out of politics and walk into, sadly, Hollywood. Yes, that lovely land of pretend people, pretend genders, uh, getting triggered, you know, panties bunching, pearls clutching, hypocrisy. And speaking of hypocrites, let's take a look at one Trevor Noah. Yes, that former comedian who can't make anyone laugh but makes everyone cry let's take a look this comes out of outkick everyone is equal some are more equal than others trevor noah rents a condo for fifty two thousand dollars a month Ooh, pricey capable of garnering the same amount of laughs with the tv turned off yes late night comedy central host trevor noah has followed a trope of selling to become a democratic inherent rather than practicing actual political satire heavily leaning into storylines of inequality in America. Noah has proved no different than his big network counterparts in the realm of hypocrisy. A report in New York Post highlighted the opulent New York City condo unit, <clears throat> excuse me, rented out by Noah that cost $52,000 a month. The 70 vestry property is a swanky 3,200 uh, square foot residence, also sporting a 12,000 square foot of amenities, like a lounge, dining suite, and a billiards room with a James Purse Pro pool table. According to the report, Noah is moving to California to share a $27 million mansion in L.A. with actress Minka Kelly, making Noah a prime voice for the average American. Yes, you and me, folks. A spokeswoman representing Noah stated that the unit is being rented out to family members and that he currently doesn't live there, attempting to distance himself from the Prezi condo as critics call out the hypocrisy. Another drain pipe of the American talking points, Trevor, Noah knacks, uh, Trevor Noah's knack for labeling America as systematically oppressive nation for minorities remains tone deaf in, and inconsistent with stories of actual triumph in the United States, which includes the story of an immigrant from Johannesburg, once subject to the laws of apartheid, that moved to America to become a multimillionaire and date a hot actress only in America. Uh, just wanted to make this one quick. Uh, Trevor Noah is a hypocritic moron, clown, a mofo. Uh, wow. If you happen to stomach watching his show, basically how America's evil, racist because of who whiteness in this country, how people are oppressive, you know, when states decide to fix their voting laws because of such ethical and moral election standards that we had last year, leading to the greatest candidate in the history of the United States to be elected, a decrepit old dementia riddled old man who's occupying the White House. But regardless, Trevor Noah is a hypocrite. The fact of the matter is, is that when you are basically saying, I stand up for the average American, for the little people, and yet, $52,000 of rent, renting a month. You know what $52,000 a month could do for the average American? Pay your bills, pay off your car, pay your rent maybe for at least six to eight months, depending on where, what state you live in. But no, $27 million house in LA with your current girlfriend, $27 million. Mm -mm. Mm. But he stands up for the average American. He stands up for you and me, folks. Watch his show. He stands up for the oppressed. Stands up against the patriarchy. Stands up for the woman. He's a soy boy puss. And that's what he is. He's a clown. He's a hypocrite. He is a hypocritical ass clown. But I guess that's what constitutes as comedy in 2021 and with that being said i'm jasper gonzo this is what's next I want to see more just like this please leave a comment below like it share it subscribe to it hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you guys next time peace